guys. So today I'm gonna be doing another one of these videos. I've done one before and that is get ready with me in the woods. And uh, if you didn't know, probably do, but we bought a house in the middle of the woods like eight months ago now. We're still not living here. It's still under construction. That's the name of the remodel game. As soon as you start doing things, more things come up. COVID pushed everything off to where we were naturally supposed to be done and moved in by June. And now it's not gonna be till probably like late September, October. As long as we're in this house before this baby gets here, I'm fine. <laughs> at this point anytime is fine i'm just ready to move in we love it out here so much it's so peaceful it's so relaxing behind me is actually a hammock we put up recently and we have spent so much time in the sneaking hammock i cannot even tell you it is absolutely lovely to have an area where you can just chill we put it under these two trees we have like a western red cedar and then we also have a douglas fir and it's right it's the perfect hammock trees and oh it's been so nice to just lay in them before we hop into this video this video is not sponsored or anything but we're going to be doing a giveaway in this video so i want to give you guys the giveaway details i'm going to hop in and start talking about you know all of the things and just stuff in a second but I wanted to insert this in here we're doing a giveaway we just did two we did one on Twitter and one on Instagram and now we're doing a YouTube giveaway so we are giving away the pure ex Robbie DeChristie collection to five winners and all you have to do to enter this giveaway is you guys need to like this video comment down below and just subscribe to my YouTube channel and then I'm going to select the winners in three days time period so again you just have to like comment in the comments you can also leave your Instagram handle in the comments Comments if you have one down below subscribe to this channel and that's it this is giveaway is going to run for the next three days if you guys are interested in entering the giveaway you will win the pure x robbie christie palette and both of the lashes and like the pr kit so everything that you guys need to know regarding the giveaway will be in the description of this video giveaway woo if you guys have been interested in checking out any other Pure Cosmetics products, I do have a code with them. And I'm gonna have it up here on the screen, but my code is Christy. So if you guys are looking to purchase anything from Pure Cosmetics, I do have a code. I never talk about codes. It's something that I completely forget that I have and very, very seldom mention. So I just wanted to throw that in here and mention to you guys. But I do have a code in case you ever wanna use it. Yesterday, well, by the time you guys are seeing this, it'll be two days ago, was our anniversary. It was our 10 year anniversary. That is a long time. We've been together for 15 years on August 17th, which this is so cool as well, Zach felt the baby move on the day 15 years from when we met, which was so exciting. He cried, I teared up, it was so lovely. It was the first time I woke up that morning and I was like, you know what? I haven't felt the baby move at all this morning. It was like, you know, I just need to check and see that the baby's okay. So I pull like the top of my pants down, I put on the little fetal Doppler and I'm gonna go listen to the heartbeat. And I look down at my belly and I can see it moving from the outside. Like I can see very clearly like kicks and movement and I freaked out, I run up, I tell Zach, I'm like, I can see the baby moving. And so later on that day, we're sitting in his room. We just ate a little bit. I had him put his hand on my belly, which we've been doing this for literally like four, five, six weeks where I'm like, I can feel that. And then he can't feel anything from the outside. I, I was like, can you see this movement? And he could actually see it. And he was so excited that he could see it. So he put his hand on my belly and he felt multiple kicks for the first time. And it was such a special day because uh, August 17th is the day we met. We actually, weirdly, we met on MySpace, okay? We went to the same high school. I had like seen him around, but August 17th was the day that I decided to like message him on MySpace and strike up a friendship the day we first talked for the first time. The way I know this date is because um, MySpace used to send you an email when you would get a new message. And I have an email saved from August 17th, 2005. And that was the first day we ever talked. We met 15 years ago on the 17th and 15 years later on August 17th, 2020, he felt our baby move for the first time, which is really, 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 really exciting. It was so cute. He was so excited. There were like totally tears in his eyes and it was like the best moment ever. I couldn't even handle it. I didn't get it on video or anything because it was just such a random spur of the moment thing. And oh, it was so special and wonderful. And then just a few days later on August 22nd, which was yesterday for us, it was our 10 year married anniversary. And that's so exciting. Married 10 years, which is really cool. It was a cool one. We didn't actually schedule anything. Like we didn't do any sort of, um, we didn't like go anywhere. Initially we were gonna be in Hawaii, but COVID. What we did instead, it was Saturday and we have a farmer's market near us that is always doing it on Saturdays. And so we got ready and then we went to the farmer's market. It, one thing to know about us, like we literally live for farmer's markets. Like why am I not doing my makeup? <laughs> 
<laughs> I should be doing my makeup when I'm talking about any of this. I brought my makeup bag. It's a big one. That's what she said. We are huge into farmer's markets. There is something so special. If you've never been to a farmer's market, there is something so wonderful about seeing the things that everyone has grown or handmade and they sell them and they are passionate about the things because it's their own product. It's not like going to the store and just picking up, you know, garlic. It's like you go to a garlic farmer's, you know, booth and they have all the garlic and they have all of the like things that they've made and they grew it themselves and they're passionate about it and they have their business card and you know that the people at the booth are the people that made the stuff. Like, it's incredibly important, at least to us, to keep local businesses afloat because not that we keep them afloat for crying out loud but if they don't sell stuff they don't stay in business and we want local businesses to stay because it's just really important I think to support people and their small businesses I mean it's just it matters to us at least so we make it a point to buy stuff we got some really cute stuff two different types of salve uh, I love buying different like massage oils and salves and soaps and stuff like that I just I can't get enough of it and so we did that I'm using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh by the way I've been using this for like the last well, I did a review on it. If you guys are interested, I'm gonna link the review somewhere. I don't know what side it's on. I really like it. So spoiler for that video, it's good. We bought uh, our first baby things. <laughs> this is really exciting. We bought a onesie, which is really, really exciting. We also bought a charcuterie board. Charcuterie is like our favorite. I can't have it when I'm pregnant because it's literally all things that you can't eat when you're pregnant. I freaking love it. And we bought that and it was like homemade from this really awesome local woodsmith. It's really, really cool stuff. He also carved two knives. They're like cheese spreading knives. You know, it's just cool that somebody spent all that time making these things. And I don't, I should shop on Etsy more and shop for more small businesses. If you guys have any that you think that I would love, I love like really rustic, like handmade pottery. If you have any like baby toys that you think that would be really cool that are like handmade, I would love that. And it just makes me sad because I've seen so many local businesses around us go away and the places that have been around my entire life, gone. And so I really, it hurts me to see companies struggling. And so I really, I try to shop locally if I can, but it's really hard because so many places have closed that sometimes you have to resort to online shopping. All of the malls in Washington are basically closed. I mean, we grew up with these malls, you know, places where you could just go browse around with your family, go Christmas shopping, they're gone. And it's so sad because these are places that I remember like just 15 years ago when Zach and I got together, we would go hang out at the mall all day. We would go walk around. We would go get food at the food court. We would go shop at stores all day long. We would browse, we would hang out there. Like it was a place that we spent so much time and it's gone forever. And it's actually closed down forever. And all of the malls basically around here, like I went into one of them a few months ago and obviously because of COVID, it's made it so much worse. It was a ghost town, you guys. It was literally like, let's say the mall could hold 200 stores. There was maybe like 20 in the whole mall, empty. And it made me so sad because these are things that we're never going to be able to get back because of the internet, you know? And it's sad to see in our time, just how fast that happened, you know? And I, I get it. The convenience of the internet is something that, you know, it is so convenient to shop on Amazon. And that's what makes me so sad is that I get it. I wholeheartedly get it. I'm not sitting here trying to shit on Amazon. I get it. But at the same time, it doesn't make me feel very good to see these businesses that these companies, some of, some of them that have been around since like the 40s and 50s here locally, and they are gone forever. And they're like, I'm sorry, you guys, like we just can't sustain it anymore. And it like crushes my heart and soul because that's it, you know, we can't get that back. And so that's the longest explanation ever to say why I love farmer's markets. So I get the need for Amazon for accessibility for so many people, me, myself included. Um, especially during the pandemic, like you, you know, you can't leave your house and you gotta do what you gotta do. So I get it. I mean, I participate in it. I'm not gonna sit here all day and say that I don't shop on Amazon. I try not to as much as possible. Amazon has made it impossible not to shop on Amazon. Do you know what I mean? Like, anyway, so we did that. We went to a farmer's market. And then after that, we went and had lunch. Well, we went and got like takeout lunch. And then we came here and took a nap in the hammock together. We took a bunch of pictures, I put them up on Instagram. It was so lovely, it was just so, the weather today and yesterday, they could not be nicer in Washington, I wish you could see it. Blue skies, little wispy clouds, but like only 72 degrees, so it's the perfect temperature. Not too hot at all in the shade, it's perfect. It's just, 
absolutely lovely and we laid in the hammock and then we had dinner together and it was so good it was so lovely and it was just such a nice day it was one of those days where we just didn't get on our phones at all other than to post those instagram pictures it was just one of those like we spent the whole day together and it was just absolutely lovely it's okay that we didn't book anywhere to go because we just got to spend the whole day together and it was so nice. Okay, speaking of this property, you guys, I don't know if you follow our Sweet Life of Zach and Christy Instagram page. We don't have a ton of followers on it, so probably not. <laughs> uh, we've been posting over there like some things that we found on our trail cam. So we have a trail camera out here. It's so cool because it's caught a ton of wildlife on it. I mean, you guys, we've obviously seen, I'm gonna enter the footage in here, but we've seen many, many sightings of deer and they're pretty nocturnal. So we see them at night come through mostly and there's been really, really cool ones coming on the property. Not only that, I don't know if you guys saw the video. <laughs> I posted it to the Sweet Life Instagram page, but I also shared it to my Instagram stories. We were here and I was actually filming the video that you guys last saw. It was the Target video that went up on Friday. And I was filming that here and I was walking upstairs to go and get footage of the room. <laughs> and when I reached the top of the stairs, okay, well, here's the footage. <clears throat> what the fuck? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. You guys see this? Holy shit. Holy fucking shit. Um, I don't know what to do. It's the cutest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh my god. He's walking at me. Are you gonna fly? Don't fucking do it, bro. Don't do it. Oh my God. I'm not even afraid of animals, but I don't like unpredictable Jesus Christ in heaven. Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth. This is in heaven. Are you hurt? Are you okay? You're the cutest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh my God. I can't believe I'm getting this on camera. Hold it. Ah! Jesus Christ! Oh my God. No, 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 no. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. He's flying around in here. What do I do? Oh my God, f***ing Christ. Zach, help me. I'm trapped in here, I'm trapped in a closet. I am trapped in a closet with a bat. I'm running into the bathroom, I'm running into the bathroom. Oh my God. I'm going to run away, don't worry if he even slow, slightly even moves. Just stop screaming at us and go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, good good job, good job. Oh my God, you're so cute and little. Oh, don't fall. No, I know, they're precious angels and it's not his oh, what? <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> go out the door, go out the door! Oh, you're so close, you're so close. Can't tell me. No! <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure I heard Oh, really? There he is! Oh, there he is! <laughs> yeah. So that happened. And then basically at the end there, when you see us screaming and running away, uh, we never found the bat. So it's either still in the house, which we've looked everywhere, everywhere, and we do not see it, or it got out when we were screaming and we didn't even realize it. We're praying it's that one, okay? We really are, because you would think that like, from somebody who's worked at a wildlife rehab, I have literally dealt with all manners of animals. I have handled raccoons, skunks, coyote babies, bobcats, geese, swans, deer, like large deer. Uh, I have, uh, bats even. I have been around all manners of animals. I worked at a veterinary hospital for five years. I've handled all types of aggressive dogs, cats, you name it. When there is a bat flying at you in your house, I am sorry, you can't keep your cool. You can't, you're not cool and you can't remain calm. And I'm sorry, but there's a difference of like being at a wildlife rehab. You know, even if it gets loose at the wildlife rehab, you're equipped, you have the right equipment, you have a net, have everything you need. When you're in your own empty house, basically, you don't have anything that you need. I didn't know what to do. We have a net now. I bought a net already, just in case, because it seems like this is gonna become a trend. But uh, yeah, so the bat was in our house. So you guys see that footage. Don't know if he's still in there. If he is, 
Heaven help. Not only that, but on our trail cam, we caught footage of a bear, a baby bear, midday, right about this time. So a freaking bear, a bear. And everybody wants to be like, Chrissy, you can't move there. You're going to have a kid. Uh, bears are scary. They're going to attack you. Well, Miss Over Researcher here has done her over research. And apparently black bears of all bears, which are the bears that we have in Washington state are the most unlikely to attack you. They say out of every 1 million bears, there will be one bear attack. It's so unbelievably rare that they said like, it's just be cautious, but don't freak out. There's also some like very specific things to and not to do with a bear. And you know, the more research I've done, I've realized that what people tell you to do, it's, it's all variant per bear. For what you do for a grizzly is not what you do for a black bear. Grizzlies, I believe you want to play dead. Black bears, on the other hand, you want to be as loud as humanly possible, scream, freak out, be a psycho, like be totally erratic and crazy. And they're like, what the fuck? And they, <laughs> they get out of there. That's what I've been reading is because they're naturally fearful towards humans. They don't want to attack you. Like 99% of the time, they're going to just be like, oh, this bitch is crazy. I'm out of here. That's, I guess what they say to do with bears, which could you just imagine like seeing a bear be like, ah! just screaming and like flailing your arms. But I guess that's what they want you to do. But they said the likelihood that you will ever have to do any of this is so unbelievably unlikely that most of the time you just let your presence be known or back away slowly if you're obviously far enough away. Like if there was one down at the end of the driveway, I'm going to back away slowly. Do not ever climb a tree because bears can climb trees faster than they can run. I saw a video. I'm gonna try to put it in here if I can. Heaven help. Watch how fast this bear climbs this tree. You see how fast that bear climbed that tree? That's why when people are like, climb tree to get away from a bear, it's like you literally, we are useless little nothings in comparison to a bear. My God in heaven, how it be. Don't climb a tree. That's literally the last thing you should ever do if you see a bear. Don't run. And also don't play dead for a black bear. You wanna scream, be a psycho, or back away slowly if you're really far away from it. You know. I'm not trying to get eaten by a bear. They don't eat people either. Grizzlies, on the other hand. <laughs> so we caught a bear on the trail cam. We also caught these guys that you're seeing here, two coyotes. And now I'm extremely afraid to bring those boy kitties here. Guys, everybody out in that video, they're like, I'm so glad you're bringing the boys. Do you feel comfortable with them being here? Cause now that I've seen how much wildlife just chills, that was like in a matter of five days that that trail cam was up and then we checked it. And I was like, okay. Mm and that's just what we saw. That doesn't mean that's all that there was. That's just what we saw. So I don't know, man. I feel so nervous bringing them out here. I, just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what we can do. But I will say that they cannot stay in that little garden shed constantly because they're outside cats. They're, they're going to go stir crazy. They're not going to enjoy it. People are like build them a giant catio. It's like how big would that need to be to where their life quality would be good enough? You know what I mean? It would have to be huge, like huge, huge, huge. I'm talking like a hundred foot run. You know, I wouldn't feel comfortable just leaving them in like a tiny little catio because they're not inside cats. You know, I don't know. It's such a hard situation. Like how do you know what to do with them? There is no right answer. I don't know. It's really tough to know if we should bring those boys out here or not when I now, now have seen a freaking bear and two coyotes just chilling, having the time of their lives, feeling completely comfortable, waltzing around. And that was a baby bear, which means there's a mommy nearby. We keep our distance. Okay, we'll keep our distance. What's weird is when you're here, midday, you don't see this wildlife, but knowing it's just lurking right beyond what I can see, it's not a great feeling. I mean, it is great. It's, it's wild, you know? What did we think moving out in the middle of the woods? But I know that there's a lot of elk around here. We saw an elk, we didn't see it on our property, but we saw it really close by when we were driving from here one day. And it was like, it was so cool because it was chest deep in some water. I'm gonna use my palette. I'm gonna kind of do a mixture of it just does and told you, I think. And just kind of do like a little wash of color on the lids. We're like collecting rocks because this yard is extremely rocky. And he heard a scream and it was over there by like this little um woodshed that we have and he heard a scream so he runs over to see what was going on and he was ex fully expecting to see like i don't know what he was expecting he thought it was going to be like a hawk getting something and he said it was this tiny little weasel like a scrawny he said it was like the, a third of the size of like a ferret and it was killing a large bunny and he said as soon as it looked over and saw him it grabbed the bunny and dragged it into the bushes and he was horrified but he was just so shocked to see like a weasel for crying out loud killing something so big i mean that's kind of what it's like out here man it is most of the time you see nothing like you'll see a little hopscot and robin every now and again you'll see a little bun but you don't see a lot of this stuff, but when you spend enough time here out, 
and you're like really quiet or paying attention, there's more than you realize. Zach, he was here one day. I wasn't even here. He was here and he called me and he was like, Chrissy, there is something in our house. And I was like, oh my God, what is it? And he was like trying to figure out what it was. He's like, I heard something. I thought it was a raccoon or something because it was so loud. It was banging around in the house. He's like, it was a freaking tiny little squirrel. He has chewed all of those little vent holes out. All of them, just all of them. Why not one? <laughs> You only needed one place to get in. Why did you need to chew like 70 of them? Like literally all of them are chewed out. Now we have to replace all of that. And he's so sing cute. We catch him on our uh, security cameras because he sets off the security camera when he's like climbing up and climbing into the house. I'm gonna put a lip product on now because my lips are looking raw beauty crusty. Squirrel, mice, bat, deer, bears, coyotes, and weasels. That's what I always say. You only have the entire forest. I mean, it's absolutely massive. So why do you have to live in my house? Okay. I wanna buy a Honeycrisp tree, like Honeycrisp apples. Tell me if those aren't the best apples. I wish we could go grow citrus here in Washington, but it's just not hot enough, long enough. We can grow peaches though, and we're gonna get an espalier tree. I don't know if you guys know what espalier is, but espalier is really, really cool. It's basically a way of pruning a tree to make it almost a two-dimensional tree. So instead of it being like a big bushy tree, you you prune off all these ones, all these ones, and you leave really thick, good fruit producing branches kind of in the center. And because you've pruned off all of those branches, all of the energy of the tree is now going into creating really great fruit on those existing branches, but you can also train them into shapes. So I'm gonna show you guys what espalier looks like, but it can look so cool. And we're gonna get one of them. I think we're gonna do either a pear, an apple or a peach right up next to the house and espalier it like around the windows. And it's gonna be so cool, I cannot wait. But we're gonna have an orchard down there as well. We have so many ideas and we've really been neglecting the second channel, not because we don't care about it. We care so so much about that channel but because frankly keeping up with this channel alone has been has proved to be very difficult with how much energy I don't have although I would say right now I'm 25 weeks as I'm filming this video right now can you even believe it 15 weeks until this baby is going to get here heaven help me that is too soon not even that's less than four months I can't we have one onesie <laughs> nothing we want to we want to do so much to that youtube channel but it has just been really difficult but i definitely want to revive it zach is right up there right now actually here at the house and he is putting in flagstones we're doing a flagstone paver pathway right now and it's going to be so beautiful we're going to put so we already have it all, all half half finished right now which is really exciting and it looks so beautiful and hobbity and cool we are going to plant woolly thyme in between it half of you probably don't care but i don't you know, it just, you gotta talk about what you care about at the moment. Right now I care about peaches, espalier trees and dappled sunlight. So I don't really know what to say. That's what he's up there doing right now. And I'm gonna go help him right now. And uh, that's it. That's the face and makeup. Very, very simple. All right. Well, I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like the change of scenery. I love filming out here because it's so absolutely peaceful, just calm and relaxed. And I hope you guys like the videos that I added into this as well. And don't forget to enter the giveaway if you guys are interested in potentially winning the Pure and Robbie De Christie collection. I will have all of the information that you guys need in the description. So anything you need or any questions you have, just check the description. It'll all be there. So I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you at my next video. Bye.